So we just uprooted this wild cherry stump and what we want to do with it is maybe make a table or well, we're not quite sure what we want to do yet but let's get it out of the weeds and start thinking about it. So it's so heavy with all this dirt on it I'm just trying to knock it off with a rock so that'll make it a little lighter. Now it fits in the wheelbarrow and that kind of shows you the size of how big this is. So that was a lot of work to get it up here. It's heavier than it looks. Now I'll go ahead and dump it out and start thinking of how to make a table out of it. So we were thinking we could use these legs here as the part that holds the table up. So we can chop those off with the chainsaw, but first we'll probably want to cut off this long arm so we can really start working on it. So whenever I move this, you can see it's flexing right here. So I'm gonna cut it right there to keep as much as possible and to make sure the top is flat. Make sure whenever you're using a chainsaw, you're using safety glasses and a face shield. So now I go ahead and start cutting it in half. So this part here, this part here, and this part here, those will be the legs that the floor will rest on. So we're gonna cut it about right here and shorten up the leg a little bit. So this stuff here is just really scraggly and probably would poke you a lot, so we definitely wanna cut that off. We're still trying to keep the natural look of the log, but we're trying to just get rid of this scraggly stuff that really doesn't look good. And this is where an electric chainsaw comes in really handy, just for little touch-up work like this. So you can use this just like you would a file and just drag it across. Well, these contours, we'll want to keep them like that, but they'll darken up with age and they'll match in better with the log. Now we'll flip it up onto its feet and see how flat we can get the top. So we need to cut, well at least we're at the lowest point, so we need to cut some of this off to get to the lowest point. So we're going to cut it right here, and this here has to go too. Okay, now let's cut off this one. We'll have to trim off quite a lot of this to get it down to this lowest point. So start making some relief cuts in the wood in like a grid pattern. And make sure that your chainsaw is very sharp and you can tell that it is because it's making chips, not sawdust. to use this level as a little bit of a guide so we know how close we are so you can tell this needs to come down a little bit 
and I think we can start running the blade across flat so we can start smoothing that out. Keep checking with the level, and that looks pretty good there. That is looking pretty good. Just needs a little bit more adjustment, but this is starting to get down to fine tuning. So, what you want to do is just let the tool do the work and don't try to force it and make it go faster than it wants to. One downfall of electric chainsaws is that the battery dies. And luckily we have two, but I think we have just enough power to finish this guy off. So you can see the vision starting to come together and it's actually getting pretty level. So we're also going to want to cut off some of this brush here, but still we want to keep it looking like a tree stump. So now we got this all flattened down and we have a big wooden log we're going to set on this. Of course, glass would be really cool, but we don't have a glass table that big. So we're going to go ahead and put this back into place. So this huge wooden nickel actually came from a tree that fell through my grandparents' house in Hurricane Katrina. So the whole top of the table actually has a story. So let's go ahead and set this on. There we go. So this is a pretty cool looking table. So I hope you guys found this video useful of how to turn a tree stump into the base of a table. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Talk to you then.